Okay. The question says that a card from a pack of 52 cards is lost, and from the remain ca remaining cards of the pack, two cards are drawn and are found to be both diamonds. Find the probability of the lost card being a diamond. So, uh, I am going to consider two events here. Event one is event A is lost card is a diamond. And event B is uh, after the lost card. Okay, event B is uh, both cards drawn are of diamonds. Okay. Now uh, we know that out of fifty-two cards, thirteen are diamonds. Correct. So, what is the probability that a lost card is diamond? Uh, probability of A is equal to 13 by 52, correct? Which is equal to 1 by 4. This means that uh, probability of the last card not being a diamond is uh, 1 minus 1 by 4, which is 3 by 4. Now, what you are now? Uh, let us find uh, what is the probability that uh, probability of both cards being diamonds if the last card is a diamond that is probability of B given A what will that be uh, if one diamond is lost then uh, out of 51 12 are diamonds correct you are drawing two cards simultaneously it means it is you can also say that as uh, you can draw two cards successively without replacement both are the same so probability of b given a will be uh, getting the first card as a diamond sorry getting the first card as a diamond and uh, getting the second card as a diamond correct okay now, uh, what will be the probability of B if the last card is not diamond? That is probability of B given A complement. That will be. Uh, now, in this case, out of 51, uh, 13 are diamonds. Correct? Because the last card is not, last card is not diamond. So, out of 51, now 13 are diamonds. So this will be equal to 13 by 51 is the probability of drawing a diamond in the first card. And for the second card it is, it will be 12 by 50. Okay. So now, uh, what it is said, uh, both, both drawn cards are found to be diamonds. Then we have to find the probability of last card being a diamond. That means, probability of A given B. This is what we have to find. From base theorem we can find it like this. This will be equal to probability of B given A into probability of A divided by probability of B given A into probability of A plus probability of B given A complement into probability of A complement. Correct? This is our base theorem. So if I put all these values because I know all of them I will put them. So I will get 12 into 11 by 51 into 50 into 1 by 4 divided by uh, 12 into 11 by 51 into 50 into 1 by 4 plus uh, 13 into 12 by 51 into 50 into 3 by 4. Correct? So if I cancel these denominators because they are common, I can simplify it as 12 into 11 into 1 divided by 12 into 11 into 1 plus 13 into 12 into 3, correct? Now if I can cancel 12 also from the numerator and denominator, I will get 11 divided by 11 plus 13 into 3 which is 39, correct? which will be equal to 11 by 50. This is our answer.